All right, guys, we're back. Hardest stage in the game, Red Zone Broly, right? Battery's low power as well. We're getting the transformation. <laughs> they, they, you barely ever see this, you barely ever see this. Okay, guys, I'm just gonna let you guys know right now, um, we're literally, th this is the very end. This is the very end. If, if we don't make it through this, it, it's done, it's done, right? So, what I've been doing is I've been keeping Super Saiyan God Goku, this one here, who is a must run for this stage. It's a must run because of his crazy 77% damage reduction against Broly, right? He's a must run. You have to run him. I'm using him alongside this LR, right? The Super Saiyan 4s. And the other rotation, the other rotation, I'm actually keeping the rainbow one. What I did was, uh, there's a friend one that I found which was rainbowed. I let him do like as many super attacks as possible at the beginning of the fight and then transformed him immediately and kept him linked up with himself but in the previous form. So because uh, they link with each other perfectly because they have the exact same link set, you're better off having one transformed uh, together with the one that isn't transformed. That's what I did. That's what I did. And then my rotate, uh, my floaters were Super Saiyan 4 Goku after his crazy easy A. Use his active skill to uh, completely destroy the STR stage. Uh, once you get into the STR stage, Super Saiyan 4 Goku's active skill is ready. Destroy him. Get rid of that STR stage immediately. Right? I did that. And then um, here's my floater, Super Gogeta. Uh, obviously, most of the time you're dealing with this version here. Which is a good version because dodge, um, crit chance, all of that great stuff, and a very powerful LR, um, so they can hold their own. Uh, so he's uh, he's a floater. Super Saiyan 4 Goku is the other floater, and then the last floater is gonna be Tech Gogeta, right? Tech Gogeta is your last final floater. So there you go. Uh, so yeah, um, now we're gonna go ahead and transform with Gogeta here, and we're 100% gonna use this. Hopefully this does really good damage. We, we need to see excellent damage here. Yeah, please finish him off. Oh, six million. Very nice, very nice. Good damage, good damage. Uh, so now here's the biggest, um, here's the biggest test of it all. Are we gonna finish this? Uh, I do believe Tech God Goku can survive that. Uh, hopefully, this is it. This is it. It's make it or break it. I need Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta is the one that has to finish this off, right? Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta has got to finish this off. Okay, the Tech God Goku managed to do all that. We can't dodge against super attacks, right? So we've. Uh, th th this is why slot one units, defensive units, are needed. Okay, thank you. We'll take that extra additional super attack. So, okay, this is gonna be really big crit. No crit. Okay, no crit. That's fine. That's fine. Here we go. Come on. Come on. You gotta do this. 6.9 million attack stat. My one is only 69%, uh, right? Only one dupe. Yes! We beat Broly. There we go. Yo, Broly, go sleep, bro. Go sleep. <sighs> The seventh anniversary. <laughs> if you beat the stage against Broly, you have officially beaten the seventh anniversary. Because that's the hardest stage, right? That's the hardest stage. We beat it. This team actually beat it. Okay. I know there's a lot of summonable LRs on this team. A lot of them are rainbowed. But I'll just let you guys know my version of the Super Saiyan Gods only 55%. Thankfully, with Dokkan. There'll be some Omega Whale that spent literally three, four thousand dollars and decided to rainbow all of their favorite units. And you will have them um, putting their best LR with all their link levels on their friends, uh, friend skill, friend leader skill, whatever it is. Perfect. You need those sort of players uh, because I'm not everyone will be able to get every LR fully rainbow maxed out and everything especially if you're a long time Dokkan player it's going to be pretty hard to do that but if you're new to Dokkan it's probably be pretty easy because it's a lot of dragon stones if you're new <laughs> uh, so yeah there we go managed to beat the stage boom five dragon stones seven tickets we're going to do that i've got this ultimate red zone 
support memory, the Goku one. So yeah, there, there was my team. Yeah. And now for the items. Items I used here was the Ghost Usher. You need this if you. Uh, this is to save your Super Saiyan 4 LRs from getting hit from the STR stage. As long as you can get this past the STR stage with only using one of these, you're good, right? You do have the scout mechanic with Tech Gogeta, who's an amazing LR. Um, if you next time he's available, grab him with coins. Uh, there's two very recommended units that I'd recommend anyone to grab, right? Tech Gogeta and Ginyu right those two units they're, they're literally sitting at the very top now they're sitting at the very top for coin units that you have to grab right um, because they're they are just so good uh, but yeah I used Ghost Usher and then the support memory I did use was this one here strike from another world uh, but what this basically does it gives your allies 10% attack and defense for two turns on the fifth turn um, because that's when things get difficult and then superclass allies get additional attack ten percent when there's a movie boss's category enemy starting from the fifth turn battle. Perfect item to use when we're going up against Broly, and the animation is sick. Goku comes in, boom, take that old Jack. Uh, so yeah, uh, very clean, very clean. And then the new one is this Kakarot. <laughs> you can call me Kakarot. Movie heroes, category allies get attack and defense 10% in battle for seven turns from the start of battle. Wow. Key plus one for all allies whose name includes Goku. Wow. Okay. A absolutely amazing. Seven turn 10% attack and defense buff. Ridiculously good. An additional key for any Goku unit. Perfect. It's not even Goku. We call you Kakarot. Kakarot! So there, there we go. And then the last thing to do. The ticket multi, uh, ticket multi summon. This is the final summon of the seventh anniversary. I did do one multi for myself on the Super Saiyan God banner. I keep pulling that Super Saiyan 2 Goku. But yeah, here's the final multi summon, guys. Hopefully, you guys had an amazing seventh anniversary. I know my one was a blast. Um, well, make sure you guys subscribe because I'm super excited for what the worldwide celebration is going to be. Super Saiyan Goku and LR Cooler. Ooh. Ooh, very tasty. All right, let's go ahead and do this final multi summon. Um, there are some LRs here, so if some of you guys are thinking, oh, maybe I might be able to get an LR. You might. We don't know. Oh, give it to me now. Okay, maybe that is a uh, LR coming up right now. Uh, but yeah. Um, so there, 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 there's a bunch of good units that can be, e be easy aid on this banner as well. Let's see what we get here. We get Jacko. So all of these guys are. Oh yes. Okay, this guy is 100% rainbowed for me. He's an amazing LR, but he's very dated, right? He's really cool, as in he's got amazing animations. I love his 18 key super attack, that spirit bomb absorb um, attack. Very clean, very clean. Okay, this Broly has a ridiculously good EZA as well. Uh, okay, that's a massive win for me. Massive win. Because uh, that, that Goku is now rainbowed. And I'm going to celebrate, yeah? This, that's an LR pull. I'll take that. I'll take that. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's go hidden potential right now. We're gonna do this right now. We're gonna do this right now because he is literally one of my favorite units. Oh, oh, this guy's one of my favorite. Why does this guy not have a standalone like uh, Dokkan for school unit? I, d I don't understand. This Broly is literally the most aesthetically pleasing unit in the entire game or the entire show. He just looks amazing. But yeah, here we go. This LR here. Oh wow, what a win, what a win, what an absolute win. Okay, uh, activate all, okay, boom. Give him that level five heal, boom. And then we're gonna go ahead and reverse. By the way, uh, some people were talking on the Dokkan Twitter. Guys, this Goku is not from the Cooler movie. This Goku is against Android 13. Have you guys not watched the movies? What the? Like, I, I've got to say, like, a lot of the Dokkan community are a bit confused from what versions Goku comes from. <laughs> yeah, but this this guy is from the Android 13 movie. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Absolutely amazing. And uh, let's go ahead and do one other thing. 
So I give him usually these equips here. Which are excellent equips. We've got a level 5 equip here as well. Maybe I should give him level 5. Yeah, I've given him mostly crits. But I think maybe I should give him additionals. Uh, usually units that are um, characters that do more damage for more key spheres, I usually give them crits. Uh, but yeah, I might might change this one up. But yeah, he's excellent. He's excellent. Great raise defense for one time. You can't use him in any really super difficult stages, but uh, against super uh, super battle road stages, he's amazing because he does seal super attack and defense. Uh, he does seal super attack and lower attack and defense. So excellent character for um, super battle road stages. Uh, but yeah, super amazing. There we go. Super Saiyan Goku, fully rainbowed. Red zone stage, final one fully beaten, and I can officially say I've completed the 7th anniversary. Make sure you guys leave a like, subscribe for more Dragon Ball Z Dokkan about content from me, myself, and Vective, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out, bye bye.